Hi, everybody. Purpose of these installments is to offer you some information that we think you can use. We get a lot of emails on a number of different subjects, but one primarily dealt with the ability to find the right fit of a holster for a particular handgun. So we thought, let's talk a little bit about how they're made and how you can find the best fit for your handgun. Let's go inside and check it out. We're here with Rody Henley, who's been with Upmore Saddle here in Central Texas for, what, 11 years or so? It's been 11 years, Rusty. Tell, Tell me a little bit about years. what brought you into the process of working with leather and more specifically uh, doing some, some handgun holsters. <clears throat> well, uh, I've been working with leather all my life. Um, started out as a kid doing saddle repair um, on the ranch I grew up on. Um, received a handgun as a gift and did not have the money to buy a holster, so I decided I was gonna cut the top of a boot off and make a holster out of it. That's the first holster I made, and then later on in life, I went to work as a um, deputy jailer, and I had a 27-inch waist. And I soon realized that you cannot carry everything on your waist that they require you to carry, so I started trying to develop new ways and new methods of carrying things, and as I got out of law enforcement, it's just something that I picked up and went on with. It's become a passion. Um, I'm, I'm in the handgun um, crowd, and since the concealed carry method has come about in the state of Texas, uh, we're, we're having to develop new ways to carry and conceal handguns, and it has become a, a growing market that I really enjoy working in and um, just enjoy it from a day to day basis. Yeah. Really. All right, a, a person buys a handgun, obviously, they want something that they can conceal but something that's also comfortable. Uh, tell us what a person that's just got a handgun needs to consider when he goes to buy or have per perhaps custom made some type of holster. The first thing I try to tell people that, that are looking to get in um, to carrying a handgun is keep in mind that not all handguns can be carried concealed. Um, the larger a firearm is, the harder it is to conceal. A man built like me with about a 30 inch waist there's no way I can hide a six inch barreled 44 Magnum. So what I try to do is tell people, find something that fits your body frame and figure out how you're gonna carry it. And then we'll look at a, a leather holster that feels good to your body, conforms to the gun, um, and, and just works for you. There's different methods of carrying a firearm. Um, you know, there's a lot of different holsters out there, but finding one that fits you is what I do. Now you made this compact, uh... Yes. holster here and of course obviously to the person who's looking at this I mean you see the all the tooled leather work that you've done but more so it's 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 tight it's it's I mean it's it's well made it's something that it's going to hold that weapon right but uh, allow a good release at the same time this is um, basically a retention style holster um, if you notice it has no snap and strap on it there's nothing that actually keeps the handgun in this holster until you put it on your body and basically this holster is designed to tuck in your pants the clip goes over your belt your pants and your belt and your body retain that firearm to your person it actually allows you to, to remove the handgun but yet it's stiff enough to stay open to where you can reholster and that's the base of this design and this has become a real popular design with the concealment crowd. Yeah. And um, the fit and finish of a holster is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is just fluff and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's pretty handwork, but you know, that's all for the person to design himself. Yeah. And you know, this is, this is a holster that, that I really enjoy carrying. I carry it myself. What I would look for is, um, like an in the pant type holster, it is hard to carry a revolver that way. Um, the cylinder is round, it doesn't lay flat against your body, and therefore it's going to pinch you and bind you in ways that you can't imagine. You don't want it to pinch you and bind you. So what I, what I tell people is look for a handgun that, that's flat, slab sided, it's not real wide. Um, you know, a long barrel is not going to help you any. It's going to poke you in places you don't want to be poked. Look for something with a short barrel on it, um, something that's flat, um, slim. The slimmer it is, the easier it is to conceal. 
Rhoda Henley from Utmore Saddlery, thank you for taking time to share a little bit about your talent, your expertise in holster making. Folks, having a gun is one thing, but you got to have something smooth and fits well to place that gun in. And a good piece of leather craftsmanship is step one. Happy trails. Thank <laughs> you.